One tank for 15 kilometers. Ukrainian general explains why Russians broke through border in Kharkiv. On May the 10th, Russian troops launched their second major offensive on Kharkov during the war and were able to advance several kilometers from the border in the first days and even hours. Among the reasons for this is the acute shortage of forces and resources of the 125th Territorial Defense Brigade, which defended this direction, former Brigade Commander Lieutenant General Artur Gobenko said in an interview with Pravda Media Outlet. Active actions by the enemy began in the morning. It was a massive fire strike, artillery, missile strikes, aviation. At the same time, the Russians were using powerful electronic warfare systems. The enemy began an offensive along almost the entire line of contact, which our brigade was defending, he recalls. According to Gobenko, the brigade's defensive line was 44 kilometers long from the Travianskoy Reservoir on the left bank of the Seversky Donetsk River on the right. This line was defended by four understaffed battalions. Three had just emerged from heavy fighting in the Donbass, while the fourth had no combat experience at all. The Vinitsa battalion was the most fully staffed, just over 70%. My two regular battalions were 60% full, and the 415th rifle battalion was only 50% full, he said. The general claims that the battalion's subordinate to him actually had no heavy weapons, only a battery of 82mm mortars in the TRO battalions and a platoon with two mortars in the rifle battalion. The only thing we had to reinforce us was five guns and three tanks. This was one gun that was supposed to cover 10 kilometers and one tank that was supposed to cover 15 kilometers. The battalions did everything possible and impossible, but holding the front when you have six to eight people per kilometer is simply unrealistic, explains Gobenko. According to the officer, his units recorded the accumulation of enemy forces near the border and this information was passed on to the higher command. The decisions we made to conduct a defensive battle must be confirmed by the number of forces and resources that were at the disposal of the brigade commander. They were insufficient to hold the defense during such an offensive, Gobenko notes. The general is particularly outraged that in the public space, all the blame for the failure of the first day of fighting is being placed on the 125th Brigade. Moreover, there are also problems in the Volchansk direction for which, as he claims, the brigade was not responsible. He notes that the brigade defended the Lipsy area while Volchansk lies much further to the east. Lipsy, Glubako, Staritsa, that is Lipsy, Glubako were the left flank, Staritsa was the right, behind it was the Seversky Donetsk River, and this was no longer my area of responsibility, but they piled everything on the brigade, and they let the enemy break through in the direction of Volchansk and abandoned their positions and ran away. The general is indignant. Over 25,000 people have been forced to evacuate amid wildfires in Canada's Jasper National Park in Canada, officials said on Tuesday. In a statement issued on Tuesday, the park said the town of Jasper and Jasper National Park in Alberta have closed and are being evacuated due to active wildfires. The evacuation impacts 15,000 people who were visiting and staying in the park when the order was issued, as well as about 10,000 people in the town of Jasper. The municipality of Jasper and Jasper National Park said in an updated emergency alert Tuesday morning the evacuation from the town site and the park is progressing well and people should continue to follow directives as the majority of traffic is being directed west on Highway 16. The wildfires causing evacuations are spread out throughout the eastern half of the province, including in the Caribou, Kamloops, Southeast and Prince George Fire Centers. Several of them have caused partial highway closures. Situated in the province of Alberta and about 370 kilometers west of the provincial capital city of Edmonton, Jasper National Park is popular among tourists and known for its campgrounds and extensive trail networks. In recent weeks, Alberta has been baking under scorching temperatures, forcing another 7,500 people out in a string of remote communities.